I'm ready to start repacking all the cylinder on this backhoe. There's 10 of them. I'm gonna start with the bucket cylinder. I had to rig this uh, shade to keep the sun away while we're working underneath it. I set the bucket on the ground so that relief the pressure on the cylinder. I took the hose, collected as much oil as I could, removed the snap ring. I have to fight it out with needle nose because I forgot to bring my snap ring supplier. I'm going to push this pin out and let the piston sit on this. I brought my oxyacetylene with me in case I need to heat the nut. I prefer not to heat it. Uh, I'm going to try to use the wrench first. If it doesn't come loose, then I'm going to try to use a uh, hammer drill and try to use it like an impact and chisel this uh, nut off. If I can't do that, then I'm going to probably heat it up. Careful, this is gonna try to swing. Find me a piece of wood. I have the cylinder resting over there to prevent damage to the fitting. This never been opened before. It's a clean, all the paint intact. So we'll see how it goes. This wrench will not do anything, it's very tight. So what I'm going to try to do next is uh, have my son press on this wrench. I'm going to try to use that hammer drill. I'm using this angle so I don't damage the wrench. And I'm going to try to use the chisel. With the hammer drill and just push down on it and see if that's going to break it loose.
I tried to protect the wrench, but I think I was wasting energy, so I went directly with the chisel, and it came loose. There you go. This actually didn't damage it much, but just a little dimple on it. Now what I got from my search, there is a ring inside, half a ring that will keep, uh, keep the piston part from get damaged when bullet out there's like stab ring or something. Over here I think I have to push this inside, but I didn't get this part. Yeah, there is a snap ring inside. a color ring keeping this uh, this nut in place or the bladder I believe they call this the bladder and this nut will tie the bladder against the ring to keep it from uh, going in or out This is half ring that will go around the groove so it will make it continuous bore so when this get pulled out the rings inside won't get damaged that attach to this. I pulled the snap ring out. I just used two screwdrivers. It came out easy. I had to take this uh, hose completely off and I tried to collect as much hydraulic oil as possible. I don't want it to go on the ground. I made a mistake over here on the other cylinders what I did and to prevent messy. this uh, oily mess. I disconnected the hoses away from the cylinder and kept the hoses connected to the cylinder and then put both ends of the hoses in a bucket so when I pulled the cylinder the oil went into the bucket and didn't create this mess. And just like that. Now what I'm planning to do, I'm planning to put the pin back in place like this and then use the impact to lose this nut. This is the bladder and this is what I call the piston, it's right inside. When these go bad, the, the bucket will bleed. I have no problem with these, however I'm going to go ahead and replace them. This over here, the seal on this one, inside this one, the one that caused the leak. Sometime if this o-ring go out, it will leak from the outside. but. All my leaks, it's between the rod and the bladder. Grab the pin.
piece of wood I put here. This ring will get inside here and prevent damage to this when coming in and out. It's a good idea to inspect the inside sometime if machine set for too long. Moisture may get inside and it will damage the wall of the piston and later on it will cause damage to the new packing. However, this look real nice. This groove is designed to clamp this way. It's uh, taper going in. It will make sense so when you push the new packing it will glide or slide on this. However, this uh, edge over here it's a little bit sharp. This will keep it from coming out. I tried the hammer drill, it didn't work, so I'm going to try this, it's about 5 feet, I'm going to add leverage to it, No, go ahead, it will, uh, it will lose. It has register that go toward the rod and a smooth side. This over here it's Teflon ring and there is two other type of material. This over here the new one you have to heat in hot oil. You have to soak a little bit in hot oil so it will go in and then it will shrink when it's cooled down. It will get damaged, it will uh, stretch if you just try to push it as is. I'm ready to take the old rings out and clean these two parts. I already check these two over here, John Deere rebuild kit. They seem to be the right parts. I also bought some spare from online. 
They come with extra O-rings and seals, I think for other tab of cylinders. But I have over here what I need to rebuild this one. This is the wiper. I have to break the bushing to get it out. the lip facing inside. This one over here, the flat surface facing outside and this little uh, groove face to the inside. The 
o-ring turn the inside and this uh, flat washer or uh, square ring facing to the outside This over here is made of Teflon. And the new one has to be heated a little bit. I'm gonna get container, metal container, put some hydraulic oil and warm it up and soak the Teflon in it. That's it, I'm gonna clean these parts and install the new ring on them. I washed everything, I washed the cylinder and the rod, I dry everything with air, and I also wire brush this, and this. The hammer drill is the way to go. This is the only damage done to this knot. When I rebuild the bulldozer, I try to use pipe wrench, I try to use a wrench designed for the pistons or cylinders. Nothing worked. I heated them and uh, when they come out it did mess the thread so I had to replace the two front cylinders. I was able to open uh, the other three. However, the hammer drill is the way to go. It generates enough vibration and put enough load that it will break this loose. This never been opened before, by the way. I'm ready to install all the O-rings and seals. I put the nut on the rod so I don't forget it. The lip is going to be toward the inside. I did my best try to avoid scratching all the inside surfaces of this. The other seal, it has little groove and then a flat, 
the flat toward the outside and the groove toward the inside. This, the John Deere, the new bushing. However, I like the aftermarket design. This is the only thing seems to me better than the John Deere original kit. I like this groove. So it doesn't have a weak spot as the rod riding it. So I'm going to use this one. And finally the wiper. and the o-ring toward the inside. And now I have to put the Teflon. I'm gonna heat it up a little bit. And then I'll put it on. I put some of the oil that leaked out and I was able to scavenge it in that container, in this metal container. And then I heat it with this torch till it start smoking. It's hot. I'll take this Teflon ring. Let it soak for a little bit.
to an end very easy. If you try to press this in while it's cold, it's going to stretch. This is the proper way to do it. After I install the bladder and it drive on the rod, the original or the factory wiper came apart. So I'm going to replace it. This is the aftermarket. I'm gonna find socket or something that fit over this. Find the socket. This will fit it perfectly. After I assemble it, the wiper came off, the new factory wiper, so I have to use the aftermarket. I said I want to make sure all these surfaces completely dry the ring
wings over here I didn't say earlier but they need to be about 180 degree of each other see this one right here and then I just rotate it We don't need the o-ring installed. To push the cylinder in. make sure the grease fitting facing up Okay, it is in. Now I'm taking the snap ring. And just go by a hand. I'm gonna put this snap or uh, installation ring back in. Let's go this way. And then I'm gonna put some anti-seize on the thread and tie it in. I put some anti-seize on the thread
I cleaned the pin, cleaned this, and then made sure the grease fitting over here is working. Needle nose plier over there. This would be a major deal if you have to pull uh, this piston out because everything has to come off. No, do it to the right, don't do it to the right. Yeah, this has not been a grease for a very long time. Alright, I'll fire it up and see if we have leak.
this was the first one I did so what I learned from it use hammer drill to lose this knot it will come out way easier than any other method you don't have to heat it or anything else this was factory tie knot it's been on since 1994 or 93 whenever they manufacture this one this is 94 model but could be manufactured in 93 I didn't have to take the cylinder completely off it saved me from taking all these I had to remove both hoses I originally thought that this is the only one that create vacuum however I had to pull the piston out to push this uh, internal bladder out so this uh, hose has to be loose as well I tried my best to protect the ground from oil I probably just have little bit of oil came out I was able to uh, grease all the fittings couple of them the grease didn't want to go through I kept hit on it with the hammer and finally the grease came out from both sides all the pins very tight on this machine which is a good thing I have to replace the hoses they dry rotted these over here they don't leak that bad however I'm gonna do those tomorrow it took me a while to do the first one I would say about four hours I had to build this contraption over here to protect me from the sun and I have to figure it out when I bought the machine the previous owner gave me those uh, two original uh, kit for this cylinder only however as you saw the wiper the wiper seal was uh, dry so I had to replace the rings and use the aftermarket one the aftermarket one is cheaper than the dealer I paid I believe $17 on Amazon for uh, the inner ring over here and I think about $19 for the one that they go inside and uh, over here I believe the factory they want uh, for the bigger set $97 and the other one $68 I'll check the prices it's good tomorrow I'll do these two these over here I'll probably pull them completely out I will rest the bucket down on the ground and release both of them I think it will be easier than fight them in place